Hey, Kerry here from Fulcrum Equipment, answering your quick questions about construction machinery. The question we're often asked is how do I operate the emergency lowering of a Skyjack scissor lift? If for whatever reason you needed to lower a Skyjack scissor lift from the base controls, there's a couple of steps to the process. It's important to note that this applies to both electric and diesel powered Skyjack scissor lifts. Firstly, you go to the end of the machine and find the red knob on the bypass valve at the bottom end of the lift ramp cylinder, as shown here. Now push the knob in slightly and turn it anti-clockwise about a quarter turn. Release it and it pops back out. You don't need to unscrew it, simply push in, turn and release. If your machine has two lift rams, do the same with the other one. If the platform is up in the air, use the long red rod which is mounted on the side of the machine as an extension to reach and turn the knob on the top ram. Now with both valves bypassed, go to the red knob on the side of the machine and pull this until the machine is at your desired height. Once you're ready to raise the platform again, you must reset the valves, push in and turn clockwise this time, pull to turn and release. This is an important step because if it's not done, the machine will either not lift at all or go up only partially, extremely slowly to the bypass valves being still open. Important notice to take extreme care when turning these valves as they can only turn a quarter turn. Any undue force on these valves beyond a quarter turn can cause permanent damage to the valve. So, now you know.